Hello. <laughs> um, this is Lab 9 review um, for your third lab exam. So I'm going to go over the anatomy of the brain. So this is what we're going to do. All right. So do we have a cross section? Oh, yes, we do. It's right in front of me. <laughs> All right. So this is your brain. Of course, it's not your intestines. It's your brain. Um, so this is your cerebrum, this little part right here. Then you have your different lobes. Um, so you have your frontal lobe, which is this front part right here. You have a parietal lobe, which is this middle section right here. And your cerebral lobe, which is this back section right here. You also have your temporal lobe, which is this side section right here. All right? You have your insula here. This is your insula, and this is like the innermost side. So if I kind of put it in here, it's kind of like that. It goes in like this. Your insula is the innermost part of uh, the inner brain. It's called the insula or the island of rail. I never call it the island of rail, but insula is better to memorize because it's inside. Insula. And then you have your cerebral peduncle, which is this section right here. Cerebral peduncle. Yeah. Um, you have your different parts of your of your brain stem. So, oh, thank you. All right. So you have your this yeah. this is cerebral peduncle. Peduncles are this section right here. You have your parts of your brain stem. So you have your midbrain. It's on top. You have your pons, and you have your. Okay. All right, and you have you so you have your midbrain, you have your um, your pons, and then your medulla oblongata on the bottom. So that's your different parts. You can also see it in the half brain model. So you have your midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata. Um, next we have is the cerebellum. That's this one right here. The cerebellum. You have the arbor vitae which is the little branches that come off right here. That's the arbor vitae. Then the vermis is when you put the two together. And this little section right here that connect the two, that's called your vermis. Uh, next is, where's the, the person that shows? Here. Ah. Um, you have your white matter and your gray matter. Gray matter is the in inner layer. The outer layer is the gray matter. So gray matter is on the outside. The inner layer is the white matter. Um, next is the different sections. So you have your longitudinal fissure, which separates the left and the right hemisphere. That's a longitudinal fissure. We have the lateral cerebral fissure, or your sylvian fissure. And that's this one right here which separates your temporal lobe from like pretty much your frontal lobe and whatnot. So that's your lateral cerebral fissure or sulcus. You can see either or. Um, next is your parietal occipital sulcus. And this one's a little bit hard to see. But there's kind of like a line that goes across like this. So it separates your parietal lobe from your occipital lobe. So that's your parietal occipital sulcus. Um, next is your central sulcus. Woo. Okay. Is this right here? Your central sulcus. It goes across. Did I have it? Yeah. This is your central sulcus. You have the precentral gyrus, which is the one that goes. It's on your. It's on your frontal lobe side. Bye. It's on your frontal lobe side. So that's your precentral gyrus, and this is your motor um, section. Um, then you have your post. Central gyrus, which is behind the central sulcus, which is um, deals with sensory stuff. So you have the post central gyrus, pre central gyrus, and then you have the central sulcus. Um, next we have is here we have the corpus callosum, we have the septum pellucidum. And we have the fornix right here. So the big one here is the corpus callosum. The little space in between is called the septum pellucidum, and you have the fornix right here. Um, 
we have the thalamus, which is this area right here, it's the thalamus. That brown dot right there is the intermediate mass. Then we have, I'll split, I'll do something, else. okay. Then we have the hypothalamus, which is this section, this bottom part right here. This is your pituitary gland. Then the little line that connects the two, the little tube section right here, that's your infundibulum, which connects your hypothalamus to your pituitary gland. Now, in front of your pituitary gland, this one right here, that's your optic chiasma. And the one behind your um, pituitary is your mammillary bodies. This one right here. Um, you have the pineal body or pineal gland. That's the one in the back right here, the little pink one. That's your pineal body. You have your corpora quadrumina, which is this, th this little section right here, your corpora quadrumina. Then we have, do we have the green thing? The green, well, she's looking for that. We have this right here, this little blue section, it's called your superior sagittal sinus. And this is where your CSF or your central spinal fluid would flow through um, around your brain. So this is your, your um, superior sagittal sinus. Then you have the different layers. This, layer, this one only shows the dura matter. So this little white line is your dura matter. Then what's not shown is your um, arachnoid matter, which is a wispy layer um, below your dura matter. Um, and then on top of the brain, that's actually like on the surface of the brain, is your pia matter, which is like the innermost layer is your pia matter. Um, and most likely they'll have like a, a diagram, a picture, a diagram of it um, in the lab exam. All right. Next, we have this thing right here. So we have here, this little big things right here. This is your lateral ventricles. Then you have your interventricular um, foramen, which goes down into your third ventricle. This right here is your third ventricle. Then you have your cerebral aqueduct, which goes into your fourth ventricle right here. And you can see it here, you have, third, uh, so you have your third ventricle, which goes through your um, cerebral aqueduct into your fourth ventricle. Um, that's for the brain anatomy. Let's see what else you need to know. Um, you need to know the same thing, but on a sheep brain. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go to sheep brain. Um, yeah. We'll do that later. And um, you need to know your cranial nerves. So, for your cranial nerves, you need, there's 12 of them. You just need to know pretty much its functions and where it goes. So, dealing with, like your trigeminal deals with like sensory in the sensory feeling on your face. Um, you have your, um, your optic nerve, which deals with vision. You have your vestibular cochlear dealing with balance and hearing in your ear. So then it's just dealing with what are, what are these all nerves come out to do? That's why you need to know the function of all of them. Um, so you can look at that in your book. Um, you do need to know the flow of your uh, CSF or cerebral fluid, um, your cerebral spinal fluid. So what happens, it starts in your lateral ventricles and then it goes, it flows around through your superior sagittal sinus and then it goes through your lateral ventricle into your third ventricle, into your fourth ventricle. It goes down your spinal cord and goes back and goes back into the lateral ventricle. So that's just the general flow of your CSF, which you can also find in your book. Um, and yeah, that is it for lab nine.